What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. Um, Alright, so we have booked a last minute baby moon to Turks and Caicos and we literally leave tomorrow morning at 7am. It's like Friday at 3pm. Um, so luckily I've been sort of buying things throughout the month because I predicted we would take a baby moon but we just didn't have anything planned yet. And I just had this feeling that we would eventually plan something last minute. So I've been actually kind of like stocking up on like vacation stuff and it's perfect. So I'm going to do a full haul. I'm like going to basically be styling my outfits for the trip and figured I might as well show you guys everything that I've got. Um, none of the stuff is maternity. So if you're not pregnant, you can shop all of this. It's just normal clothes, um, but if you need inspo for your baby moon, then hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea of some things that you can wear. Just some inspo on how to style stuff. And yeah, it's gonna be super cash. I don't have any makeup on. I still need to rinse off myself tanner. Um, and yeah, also if you're new, I am 32 weeks pregnant right now. So that's the update. This is obviously the last time I'll be traveling and then no more travel after this. So this is it, our last hurrah, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, let's hop into it. First is this little um, like gauze linen set. This is actually from Windsor Store, love it. Um, I think I'm in a size medium or large just for the bump, but really cute because I can rewear these shorts. Also rewear this shirt, um, open over things. This was just like some sandals, really cute for like going to breakfast, getting a little coffee or something. Um, and I love the light blue color, especially because I'm having a boy, so it's really cute. I think it comes in another color, but really soft, um, just like a comfy, practical vacation item. Next pieces are from Abercrombie, and I really just thought I would need some like basic white shorts um these are from the women's section at Abercrombie, and they're like a linen material they're really really nice everything's like on sale right there right now at Abercrombie. also i got a size large just because i didn't know i could also wear them like lower below the bump for more of like a boyfriend style which is actually pretty cute um but i also wanted to be able to wear them kind of up if i needed to really comfortable now i kind of wanted to make a set for this or have the option to so I went to the men's section and at Abercrombie also and they have this oversized linen shirt and the colors matched perfectly so this is a size large in men's and how perfect is that so now we have another cute little set which I love um, and I also wanted this linen shirt to be able to wear over a swimsuit just by itself um, and it will cover my butt so that would be really nice so I love this um, and this little simple tube top is actually from Windsor. What I like about it is that it has padding in it so it kind of shapes the boob. So basically I'm not wearing a bra or anything and it's pretty much like a nice spando sculpted bra situation. Um, honestly I could even see this out for dinner with like a little black heel and a purse or maybe a little sparkle heel. For Turks could be cute. Like you can kind of just turn this into a little dinner fit. These heels are from Windsor. They look like Amina Mawadi. Um, I think they're like kind of the perfect little dupe. They're like under 50 bucks and I'm obsessed with them. So I'm, I'm gonna try to style these heels specifically for the trip with something. But I think something like this, like really simple and then a black bag would be so cute for dinner. Um, but these are also like little beach separates that you can wear, so. Some more men's shirts from Abercrombie. I swear their shirts were like the vibe. Um, I saw this one and it's more of like a little crochet, little doily pattern shirt. And I thought this was also really cute. Could also pair this with the little shorts if it's like super hot, adds a little texture and pattern, which I think is so cute. Um, and I love this. So another little just like cover up, throw on for the morning or for the beach. And I love the pattern of this one. And lastly, and I went a little crazy on the men's shirts, but I loved this material. This one to me is like vintage vibes. It's kind of like a worn in brown mocha plum 
color. I love this color so much. I think it's so pretty. And this one, I kind of wanted to wear as like a little shirt. Here is the shirt. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's basically just like a men's shirt, but I love the color. I was thinking like I could wear it open over like a white bathing suit would be really cute or out to dinner and I'll kind of show you how I do that. So I have a little pair of shorts underneath. These are just ones that I already had in my closet. And then I got these sandals from Zara, which I showed on Instagram. And I think they're just the most like perfect vacation heel. They're honestly, they're just crisp, clean white. So for the sake of time, just doing like a mock-up for you guys. Um, but you'll see the full thing in Turks. So you have to follow along on Instagram. But look how pretty that heel is, okay? So we've got a heel, and then I found this bag at Zara. How freaking cool. Um, I'm just obsessed with like the beads and the texture. To me, it just screamed like Caribbean mama. So I had to get it. So I would just do something simple like this, a little heel with like a beaded textured bag. And this, um, if you want to do biker shorts underneath, you could do that, or you could just open this so you can like see the shorts. These shorts are old. I don't think they're available anymore or else I would link them, but there's like a little knit short, but cute little comfy basic outfit. You can also wear this over the shoulder, like has enough room, but I just love the texture of the back. So that's kind of how I dress that up. You could easily just wear it over a swimsuit. Here's my first little dress dinner moment that I'm thinking. This honestly could be like more of a beach dress, but I am loving like a sheer little moment right now. I don't know what it is. This is just a Skims bra and I have on like a black bikini bottom. I have some Skims boy shorts, but I can't find them anywhere. So I feel like the bikini bottom is fine. I feel like this is so pretty for dinner. Um, I would do, if I would cut off that little tag and then do a black heel and maybe like a Bottega pouch or something would be really chic. Um, I kind of love the glitter heel with this just because it's so neutral. I feel like that's sort of pretty. It makes it a little more like Caribbean. Um, I don't mind that the bra sticks out the back. I think it's kind of cute, but it's like sheer enough where everything's covered, but at the same time, just perfectly accentuates the bump. And oh, I just feel really good in this one. I love it. I like that it's covered here, but there's like a little back moment and I don't know, feels really good. But especially if you don't have a bump, this would be so pretty. Um, and you could do like a sparkly bikini under for like Coachella or something. That would be so pretty, but anyways, Love this dress. Next little set is also from Princess Polly. Um, and I just love like a little knit moment. That's why I live for summer clothing because I love anything crocheted or knit. I think it's so cute. I sized it up to a medium large in this set because I wanted to make sure it fit the bum. Can't decide. Like I feel like from the front it looks pretty cute pulled up like this. Um, but it also would be cute like with bump out. I don't know, but then like the skirt gets a little long and awkward. So I just, I feel like it almost is better just up. Um, and again, I just love these two pieces as little separates. I think they're so cute. So a little heel and a bag. You could really go like any color with this because it's white, but I feel like you need a really nice all white nitty look for a vacation. Skirt would be really cute paired with just like a nice simple white top okay yeah like I feel like that's really pretty for like a different sort of vibe if you wanted um more of like a I don't know top and a skirt look I still just have those bikini bottoms underneath but um you could probably just do like a little nude boy short and then a little heel Honestly, loving the shape of this heel. Like, this is a really cute look. Very Turk, so a little sparkle with a little knit, but all white. I just feel like that's a really cute moment. So, I love this outfit. Um, or we do, like, a big earring and a bag in, like, more of a simple colored heel. Maybe, like, the all white would be really pretty with, like, a chunky earring. So, 
I don't know, just really cute. I love this basic from Windsor. I showed it on my IG stories recently, but I have it in black as well. And it's just such a pretty flattering cut on so many people. Um, and I'm not even wearing a bra with it. And it's like super shaping. So love it, love it, love it. And for this, this is so pretty. This next set is also from Princess Polly. And I'm pretty sure this comes in like white, maybe a few other colors. Um, but it's basically this nice, pretty maxi skirt and matching little black top. This actually has rubber on the top, so it really stays up. Um, and I feel like this is, if you don't have a belly, so cute, just like high-waisted um, for vacation. But I feel like it also looks so cute below the bump and just like let the bump out. It's so pretty. I would do white heels, I think. Probably like a black and white moment. Your bag. Oh my god, it's just so pretty. Maybe hair like back in a bun or down with like curls and stuff to like add some texture, but I just think it's so pretty and I love just like a black set. I feel like this looks really beachy too. I have this really pretty knit top from Windsor that I just got, which is also so cute for vacation. Um, it is a little bit like it's not necessarily a bralette because my bump is um, riding it up. I think it just looks better if I just tuck it. But how cute. Then you could just re-wear it with this skirt. And then I would do like a nude heel to match. Um, these are a couple more Windsor heels. They've like been crushing it with the heels lately. How cute are these little wedges? I'm usually not a wedge girl, but I thought these were like super minimal and pretty. Like just one, two, three basic cream color so nice and all their shoes are so affordable so let me try these on with it okay so look how cute the wedges are so simple right and pretty for a wedge i feel like how did they manage to make a chic wedge i just normally don't love wedges but kind of obsessed with these so i'll definitely be bringing these such a good price too um anyways so little wedge with the knit top and the skirt like how cute is that guys are we dead for it this actually looks pretty cute with it too i got this top at zara and this is actually a really nice cut for this outfit Ooh, this is kind of a cute fit kind of love it um yeah i just really liked the asymmetric cut of this and the fact that it splits open and everything actually kind of perfect for the bum and it matches the shoes like perfectly so that's a really cute little outfit definitely love that next princess poly item are these gorgeous satin pants that are probably a little too long for me even with a heel so i would need to get them hemmed but because I'm wearing them up above my bump, I think it's okay until I like, get back from vacation at least and I'll get them hemmed. But I actually got these in a size large because I wanted them to have plenty of stretch, but I would say they run true to size. Honestly, these sort of like satin pants are very challenging to find. Um, I don't know why, but they really are, and these are affordable, so I would literally snatch these up immediately. I might order a size small for when I am post-pregnancy, just because I love them that much, and I love a satin pant. I just think it's so pretty. Um, okay, I want to try it on with this top, because I think this would be a really gorgeous little dinner outfit. This top is from Windsor. Honestly, looks super expensive. So here's this top from Windsor, which is super beachy summery. I posted this with some jeans on my Instagram, and it's so cute with jeans. Um, but for just like a nice little dinner beach look, I love it with the satin pants. You could also wear it during the day um, with like denim shorts or whatever. It's just such a cute top. I feel like it's adorable. I got a medium because my boobs are so big right now normally would be a small pre-pregnancy just for a size reference to help you guys with sizing um and i'm probably more of like a d right now and i'm in a medium so hope that helps and i wore um just like nipple covers with this when i was like formally wearing it i don't think you can tell right now but i just threw it on but anyways this is another really cute outfit 
last dress from princess polly really love this for like an island vacation because of the little cutouts it's like a little bit sexy it has a little gold medallion which to me just like gives caribbean vibes a little bit i don't know i love it um and i feel like it looks really good with a bump I was kind of worried, but somehow um, with this sort of shape of dress, like these like cutout situations, it really accentuates a bump really nicely. So what I would do with this dress, so I would like really strip down the styling just because I feel like it could start to lean a little bit tacky if you get like too many accessories going with it. So I would maybe put my hair back in like a sleek, minimum minimal sorry bun and do like a really simple heel and just keep it very like let the dress be the moment just because it has the gold hardware on it and the cutouts it's like a lot of focus right here um but if you want it to be super extra go for it style it however you want your personality to be with it but i feel like that's kind of how i would do it okay this dress i think is so stunning it is from windsor which is so crazy and affordable their dresses are really affordable um and i just thought it would be i mean i would honestly love this no matter when but look at the back of it okay it's basically i feel like you could wear this to like a wedding or any sort of formal event it also just looks really pretty um I feel like you could wear it on the beach or like a beach vacation. I just really like how simple it is. It, I feel like it could be the dress of all trades and like honestly you could just wear it to any sort of event and it could be worn down with like sandals and be super chic or it could be worn with a heel and dressed up like a blazer. It's more of like a formal gown um, but stretchy material so it's perfect for a bump or not. And I just love the dip back. I think it is so pretty with your hair up. And look at those strings. Like, come on, that is so stunning. And I like how it doesn't show too much in the front. It's just a really simple, clean line. And then beautiful in the back. And you could just style this literally however you wanted because it's a black dress. But it's so pretty. And it just hugs the curves. And kind of like flares a little mermaid at the bottom. I mean, look at that, guys. Come on. That's amazing. Like, so freaking beautiful. So I think I'm going to bring this as an option for a dinner look. I know I have, like, way too many looks for night and evening, but I just want to have fun with it and see how I ride feel. This dress is so perfect for any sort of beach vacation. I die for it. I showed this in a couple vlogs back, so I don't know if it will be still available, but I will try to link it anyways. This is by Vici, and I love this for a little island or Mexico vibe. Um, just throwing it on with a white heel so you guys can see, but for a little color, crochet with some fringe, and for a bump, like crochet works so well for maternity because it just like stretches and gives and I am obsessed with this like I just love this dress so much I've been waiting to wear it so I cannot wait to wear it in Turks and Caicos sorry I'm like looking in the mirror so cute oh my god another beachy find so beautiful absolutely love it um and again like I said for bump style this sort of like cut out situation is very nice for a bump. I don't know what it is, but it just gives a little split here. It hugs it perfectly, I think, because it has like the angles on the side. I don't know what it is. Um, and I love this color with a tan. I love the gold ring. I think it's so pretty. And then basically exact same shape, but a little bit shorter is this sort of heathered oatmeal ribbed style. Same style, but no hardware really really cute I feel like these are basically like little knockoffs of the Colt Gaia dress that came out you know a year or two ago this one I would do with like the sparkle heel I feel like that is perfect so pretty perfect opportunity because it doesn't have any hardware on it um and yeah like that looks so cute again this style with the bump is just 
the perfect thing. Okay, next little uh, bodysuit top I had to show you guys is from Windsor because it's really affordable and I just think it's super chic and pretty. Um, I love it with these little satin pants and I have it just with the little glitter heel and I feel like this is such a comfy like effortless little dinner outfit. Now I have it tied up like this because I like this neckline but this is how it actually is supposed to come with a cross and then you can also wear it like this which I think is so pretty on the neck and just with like a little sparkly heel or you could do white if you wanted to keep it more simple but I think it's so pretty I don't know what it is I just really love the neckline on this and the material is super stretchy so you can easily stretch it over a bump um, it looks really good with black pants if you want to do like an all black look I should have got these pants in black because I would wear them a ton but yeah I just think it's so pretty and such a good price point okay this next dress I found at Zara I love this dress it is so great for a bump but also just such a cute classic spring summer white dress little crochet I love the slight flare at the sleeve but it's pretty much just straight um, I also love that it has just enough length on it where it is perfect if you are pregnant because this obviously makes the length come up a little bit but it's not overly short um, and it's just literally perfect again summer uh, baby shower this would be adorable um, it was a little bit colder when I had my baby shower so I did like a long dress but this would be so cute if you were having a summer baby shower just like accentuates it perfectly and looks so cute dress from zara is so beautiful and i almost wore this to my baby shower actually i feel like this would be a dress that can really go a lot of ways but the older i get the more i'm like sort of drawn back to these basic simple classic like pieces because you just realize that you can re-wear them so much more like often often it's really fun to like have little trendy unique cool pieces but really the pieces you're gonna grab for are like these really classic staples so this is just so beautiful to fit it's a nude satin dress fits magnificently um and it looks so cute with a bump it just like kind of hugs it perfectly and then falls in the perfect shape um it's like a razorback style and not too much boob i don't know it's just honestly like a perfect little blank slate last dress and then we're moving on to swimsuits i found some really good ones from amazon but this dress is so beautiful it is from beachy so really good price point um it comes with these strings to like tie up i actually just kind of like it without so you could just honestly tuck the strings in um or do whatever you want but i like Sort of how it looks strapless but yeah like i think that looks so pretty and then how good are these heels these are from windsor these are the nude ones and they're sort of that same bottega toe shape but they have a little bit of a chunkier heel so perfect nude color just really simple and so cute and this has like a tiny slit on the side that just comes up at the knee hugs the bump perfectly it's that beautiful chocolate brown i just think it's stunning so it's just a couple of bathing suits that i have acquired for the trip now um i bought this in palm springs this is a hunza g bathing suit and these are great for pregnancy or even non-pregnant like a lot of my friends wear these just normally they're huge fans but they're one size fits all they're super stretchy and they're sort of like that crinkle material i got this one in black it's like a one shouldered style classic black bathing suit is probably a good thing that i go to the most in the summer i always come back to a black bathing suit so i knew that i would get a ton of use out of this color specifically but could not recommend enough they are a little bit on the more pricey side but i think you'll have them forever i know my one friend has had hers for like three years and she is ride or die for them so really great so this next bathing suit i found actually on amazon it's like literally under 15 bucks and i saw this on one of the girls on love island and i really liked it she had kind of the same coloring as me like same color hair 
tan and I just thought it would look really pretty on. So I tracked it down. It's so cute. It's like a white and cinnamon colored combo. And the top is really pretty because it's like a one shoulder situation. So I went up to a size large to accommodate for the pregnancy boobs and I'm just gonna wear this under the bump. I'll put in a picture here, I tried it on the other day. Um, and I think it looks pretty cute. Honestly, I think it would look so pretty not pregnant because you could hike these up really high on the sides and like, it would just be so pretty. I'm just not used to having such large boobs. Like they're just a different thing to style when you're not used to having, um, big boobs normally so everything feels like i always am like oh my god it's just so much boob it feels like a ton of boob but anyways okay and then next one i got from amazon is really cute i thought this was just a nice little sweet bathing suit and this one um is white with like a little floral pattern also got it in a large the bottoms are just like classic sort of string style i like sort of a simple thing for bottoms i don't like when they tie on the sides i just feel like it adds a lot of like bulk and material that's just not really necessary um but really cute classic triangle style and i'm pretty sure this comes in like other prints but these were really good finds for amazon they fit really well and i would just do this with like a big linen shirt over top like white for the beach and lastly i got two bathing suits actually from pretty little thing um i went on there and they actually have a lot of good stuff for maternity like they make really cute things um but they had some hunza g sort of like knockoffs and i just like wanted to try them but i ordered this one i did not realize it was a thong and i'm like yeah i don't know if i can be wearing that while i'm pregnant it's like a little bit much um but white and just bandeau style could rewear the bandeau with like a lot of different stuff but they make like sort of a dupe version if you're not wanting to splurge on the reel but i would definitely say the reel fits a lot better um and then this blue one piece which is really pretty has a little low back and is that like scrunchy material so really cute i'll put everything down below for you guys to shop if you want to with all the sizing that i did hopefully this gives you some inspiration for your vacation or baby moon and you can follow along on instagram tiktok we're also going to vlog the trip so you can see a vlog at the very end but um just in the meantime if you're watching this while we're there you can hop over there to get like real-time updates and then We'll always put the vlog up at the end of the trip but anyways hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you soon in jerks and caicos bye